How you feeling, Michelle? I didn't know. I'm better. Look, I'm all healed up. She couldn't keep me down for long. I'm back. I'm ready. Talk about that fight. Oh, uh, I don't know. I was doing really good, and then she got kind of grimy and grabbed my hair and kneed me in the face, but, you know, my fault for not getting out of it, I guess. So, uh, you know, I healed up. I learned a lot of lessons, and I'm just kind of ready to get back in there, really eager, and just kind of ready to put it past me. Would you be interested in a rematch? Um, we talked about it, but um, I think that her level is kind of bottom of the barrel, and I kind of want to challenge myself a little bit more, maybe fight someone that has some wins on their record. So I think I'm going to up the ante on opponents and kind of go with someone at a higher level. Anybody in particular you're looking at? Um, I don't know. I mean, we're looking for people right now at like 118, 120. She was in oh, the 125 bracket, and I thought that was a little too big for me. So, I mean, we're kind of trying to find someone with similar records, and, um, you know, we're going to work it out in the next couple weeks so I can get back in August. Let's get a close-up of this this wound. Uh, Let's see how... The is the last one. Okay, okay. This is the scar. Um, I had 28 stitches up here yeah. and went back in my hairline, and then I had like 8 or 9 on my eyelid, but you can't really see it. And that's it, but I, you know what? That bloody picture was amazing, and uh, it's my favorite picture I've ever had of me ever in my whole fight career, so I loved it. It's badass. <laughs> Michelle, we appreciate your time. Thank you. I love you guys. Little Easy Rocks. LittleEasy.com. We love you.